Hey, what's up? It's Sugar from the Sound Candy Studio. Uh, today I'm going to take a look at the integration between contact and complete control. Welcome back. Right, uh, today I'm going to take a look at the integration between complete control and contact. Now, lots of people have contact and this is how it looks. I've loaded up the electric sunburst just to take a look at it because one of the things I noticed, it has this key switch thing at the bottom, which if you're just using your complete control keyboard, you're never really seeing it when you're using in contact. And that seems to be absolutely counterproductive and there's definitely a better way to do it. So let's go and load up the same thing, but we're going to do this in uh, complete control. So this is the interface for complete control. Most of you will have it if you've bought yourself a keyboard. So let's go down. We're going to go to native instruments. We're going to scroll across and we're going to go down to contact. And we're going to hit contact there and let it load up. So this is the interface that we see when it starts to load up. What we're going to do now is we're going to simply scroll down to here and we're going to go across. We're going to go to views and we're going to say edit view. And voila, straight away we can see contact in the complete control keyboard uh, settings. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove some of the framework around it uh, also the bit that says all instruments we're going to get rid of that too because we really don't need that on there so we're going to go across the browse and hit the browse and boom that's gone as well so now it looks like contact did uh, so what we'll do now we will go in and we will load up the same instrument that we just had on the contact standalone version obviously it's not standalone because it's in a plugin but we're going to go across and get that as well so we'll just go down scroll down to that drag this file here into here drop it in the window this takes a little bit of time to load i'm not sure why uh, but it shouldn't be that that long so let's just let that quickly load up and we'll see what we've got there drums his finger on the desk okay boom uh, this is loaded up so as you can see we have the key switches and this is what the keyboard looks like so that is fantastic so now we're able to play and use the key switches and everything works really well uh, so possibly what we want to do the, uh, the the irony of this whole thing is that if you're using it this way and you go and try to switch back to the contact version you will see that the key switches thing goes away and that's what we're going to do now so let's just go back to where it just says contact we'll hit that and we'll see what the keyboard looks like now so we're still in the same program this is what the keyboard looks like it's the default look and that's not very useful and i'm not sure why you'd use it that way if we go back to the complete control version we've got our key switches we can see it the interface looks exactly as it does in the user interface and that is what we want that is just a real very quick sort of three minute four minute thing where it's going to be really easy to do and if you're still using the old way i have no idea why okay that's it for me today i'll see you again take care for now bye bye